The View is off the air, finally. I said something that I feel a responsibility for not leaving unexamined because my words upset so many people, which was never my intention. Whoopi has to rest her ginormous mouth in bad attitude. And life is so short. <sighs> okay. Hold on to your seats because the latest bombshell in the world of daytime television has just hit the headlines. The talk show titan, Whoopi Goldberg, might be facing the end of her storied career as the iconic show The View takes an unexpected hiatus. That's right, folks. Whoopi's trademark wit and unfiltered opinions have to take a backseat for now, leaving fans and gossip enthusiasts alike speculating about the future of this TV legend. So what exactly is going on and how did Whoopi respond to this? Turn on the television, girl. Where are you going? Where are you going? I'm leaving y'all. The View has been a staple in our lives, delivering heated debates, juicy celebrity gossip, and a whirlwind of emotions on a daily basis. However, the recent announcement that the show is temporarily going off the air has tongues wagging about potential trouble in paradise. The reason behind this unexpected disruption? None other than the formidable Writers Guild strike. Yes, you heard it right. The Writers Guild strike sent shockwaves through the entertainment industry, and even the indomitable view was not spared. The fallout from the strike affected the show's quality, as the witty banter and thought-provoking discussions we've come to expect started to dwindle. The hosts, who are used to dishing out the latest buzz with their signature flair, were forced to steer clear of any topics remotely connected to the Writers Guild, leaving them with a limited pool of material to work with. As ratings began to dip and loyal viewers grew restless with the show's new direction, sparks flew on the set. Oh, but that's not all, my friends. The once charming camaraderie and playful banter among the hosts had evolved into something much more sinister. Some loyal fans who had been hooked on the show's unfiltered opinions and entertaining spats couldn't help but notice the shift in tone. The witty exchanges that had once tickled our funny bones had devolved into fiery arguments, leaving fans craving the good old days when laughter and lighthearted ribbing ruled the roost. In fact, let's talk about the explosive showdown that had everyone glued to their screens. Whoopi Goldberg, the reigning queen of The View, found herself entangled in a heated tiff with none other than her co-hosts. The target? The country music sensation Miranda Lambert and her fiery stance against over-enthusiastic concert goers. Whoopi clashed horns with her co-hosts Joy Bihar, Sarah Haynes, Sonny Hostin, and Alyssa Farah Griffin as they dissected Miranda's call-out of fans who dared to snap pictures during her Las Vegas residency show on July 15th. Sonny, with her unapologetic candor, dared to stand against the Bluebird singer's complaint, saying, The uh, expensive tickets in the VIP section that they were in uh, are $757. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to take as many selfies of, <laughs> as I want. But this sparked a fiery exchange with Whoopi, who wasn't about to let it slide. In her classic style, the Oscar-winning star retorted, You know what? Stay home. If you're going to spend $750 to come to my concert, then give me the respect of watching me while I do my thing or don't come. Whoopi wasn't mincing words, and tensions soared like never before. But that wasn't the grand finale of this spectacle. Oh, no. As sparks flew, Whoopi decided she'd had enough and dramatically stormed off her seat, marching toward the front row of the studio audience. With the fury of a diva scorned, she said, Turn on the television, girl. Where are you going? Where are you going? I'm leaving y'all. Amidst the gasps and stunned faces, Whoopi locked eyes with an unsuspecting audience member, making it clear that this feud was anything but staged. Just me and you, will you push that button? We'll be right back, she exclaimed, leaving everyone wondering whether they had just witnessed the beginning of the end for the iconic Whoopi era on The View. But the drama didn't stop there. Enter Jason Aldean, another country music sensation whose controversial lyrics in his new song, Try That in a Small Town, ignited a firestorm of backlash. In a battle over small town values versus big city perspectives, Aldean's divisive comments struck a nerve with fans and foes alike. The studio seemed to transform into a battleground of opinions, with the hosts sparing no words in their fierce exchanges. Goldberg took a swipe at the song's content, remarking, you just have to realize that when you make it about Black Lives Matter, people kind of say, well, are you talking about black people? What are you talking about here? 
In the company of her co-hosts Joy Behar and Sonny Hostin, Goldberg's sentiments echoed strongly. The trio dissected the song's lyrics, scrutinized its imagery, and didn't hesitate to brand it as deplorable and annoying. Their candid critique reverberated through the entertainment landscape, sparking a wildfire of reactions from fans who felt that the hosts were being ridiculous with their comments. However, this is not the first time that Whoopi's words on The View almost got her into deep trouble. Get this! In 2022, Whoopi had the audacity to drop some majorly controversial comments about the Holocaust. Yep, you heard it right, the Holocaust, that incredibly sensitive historical tragedy that still haunts us. Whoopi didn't just stir the pot, she practically lit it on fire. She alleged that the Holocaust, which tragically claimed the lives of more than 6 million Jewish people, is not about race. It's about man's inhumanity to man. I said something that I feel a responsibility for not leaving unexamined because my words upset so many people, which was never my intention. Let's just say that her words didn't go over too well. The whispers of Whoopi's audacious comments spread like wildfire through the grapevine, leaving jaws dropped and tongues wagging. She didn't just tiptoe around the edge of controversy, she dove headfirst into the tumultuous waters of historical sensitivity and stirred up a storm that might take eons to settle. The audacity to downplay the sheer horror and pain that countless families endured, to strip it down to a simple catchphrase that barely scratches the surface of the heart-wrenching tragedy. Whoopi's words were like a lit match thrown into a powder keg, sparking outrage and incredulity from every corner of the globe. Those who heard her words couldn't believe their ears. Had she really just trivialized one of the darkest periods of human history in a mere sentence? The audacity of it all. But wait, the story doesn't end there. The fallout from Whoopi's contentious remarks was nothing short of explosive. Critics and historians alike were quick to condemn her words, highlighting the insensitivity and ignorance that they conveyed. What's more, ABC News President Kim Godwin wasn't having any of it. She swiftly swooped in and dropped the bombshell. Effective immediately, I am suspending Whoopi Goldberg for two weeks for her wrong and hurtful comments. While Whoopi has apologized, I've asked her to take time to reflect and learn about the impact of her comments. The entire ABC News organization stands in solidarity with our Jewish colleagues, friends, family, and communities. Meanwhile, fans are actually applauding ABC Network for finally giving Whoopi a taste of her own medicine by canceling The View. It is so refreshing to see Whoopi on the receiving end of her foul mouth, one fan commented. Another fan added, she deserves everything she gets. She has been out of control for years. A third fan even spoke about the alleged rumors of a lawsuit filed by Aldean against Whoopi, saying, you're on a slippery slope when you think you can insult people or hurt their name and think you can keep that narrative alive. I realize gossip is easier than facts, but this will be a lesson. One learnt the hard way. I hope the lawsuit goes as planned. They brought this on themselves. Another fan added, I think this has to be a good thing because honestly, they just spread hate and lies. I think it's time they, especially Whoopi, learn that they can't just say this kind of stuff. I would love to see the lawsuits, then see Jason donate the money to help small town people. Anyway, as The View takes an unexpected break, the question on everyone's lips is, will The View ever be the same again? With the hiatus falling right before the impending new season set to kick off in September, speculations are rife about the fate of the hosts. Rumors abound that changes might be afoot with contract renewals and potential replacements hanging in the balance. Disney, the show's parent company, is grappling with the ever-changing entertainment landscape, contemplating whether to salvage or scrap their legacy shows as digital platforms and streaming services take center stage. For Whoopi Goldberg, this hiatus could mark a turning point in her illustrious career. As the dust settles and the future of The View hangs in the balance, only time will tell if the show will reclaim its former glory or if we're witnessing the swan song of an era. So keep your eyes glued to the gossip mill as the drama unfolds and we await the triumphant or perhaps bittersweet return of The View. Anyway, that's it for this video, folks. Bye.